Hey Virgo, welcome to Shared Extensions. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your uh, general weekly reading. Any information you guys need can be found within the description box down below. Um, I do have personals open right now for $25.25. All of that information can be found at the very bottom of the description box. Um, what else? If you guys would like to slow the video down, you may do so in the top right hand corner under playback speed, okay? So what's going on here for Virgo? We're gonna do past, present, future, and an overall energy. Okay, um, so your overall is the Three of Swords, okay? The rest of the reading um, actually doesn't look too bad, okay? I see a couple things that I'm a little bit concerned with, but overall it actually looks really good, okay? Um, I do think some kind of truth or clarity came in here that uh, could have put you in a little bit of an anxious spot is how that feels to me. But I do feel like there's something here where um, you're not communicating what it is that you feel or what it is that's on your mind in the situation. These swords are down here. This is the overall energy. Some of you could have Saturn and Libra, but for the most part here, Virgo, I feel like you're having some kind of relationship obstacle, okay, with that card showing up. For your overall energy, it could be with a Taurus or a Leo. In your past, you do have the hair font. You have the strength card. Okay, and you also have the king of swords. Uh, this is Aquarian energy here with the uh, king of swords, Leo and Taurus with the hair font and strength card. Okay, um, so overall, I feel like there was something here that you were hoping to reach a new level with. Okay, um, there was something here that you committed to or trying to build. Let's actually go ahead and clarify this. We'll start clarifying here. On with this past row here with the hair font, please. Goodness gracious, what's going on here with the hair font, please? Goodness gracious, these keep flipping over. What's going on with the hair font? One card, please. Hair font. Four of cups, okay. Moon and Cancer, strength. Two of cups, Venus and Cancer, and the King of Swords, please. Actually, that one felt right. Ace of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo, okay? So, basically, I feel like whatever it was that you were trying to build here with this hair font, it does represent some kind of structure of some sort, okay? Um, I feel like there was something here that you were trying to make happen, but for the most part, however this was moving, I don't think you were satisfied with the growth of it here, okay? Um, this, to me, is a card of not being satisfied with something you're being offered. I feel like for you guys, maybe you just felt like you weren't being offered enough in a situation. Now, I don't feel like there's. it's because there's not a connection, okay? You do have... Um, two of cups so it's there but there's something somebody's holding themselves back in a situation with that strength card showing up so the connection is there but somebody's holding themselves back and I almost feel like somebody could actually be cold to this entirely for others of you I think it's some kind of clarity okay um so we're going to look at what's showing up here now to figure out what this is some of you guys could be involved um with a fire sign here Virgo what's going on with the knight of cups this could be you growing cold to somebody who's holding themselves back in a situation. Um, it could be them acting cold towards you. What's going on with this Knight of Cups? Okay, we've got Knight of Cups, Pisces energy for the current. We have the Ten of Wands, uh, Saturn and Sagittarius. And we have the Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So like I said, keep feeling like I'm hearing something. Um, but like I said, I feel like there's a connection here, especially with this Ace of Cups showing up and the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. I feel like there's no denying a connection. But at the same time, this Saturn and Sagittarius card, Saturn and Libra card, I just feel like there's a lot of um, restriction. Like you feel like your hands are tied in this situation here when it comes to getting it off the ground, getting it moving. What's going on with this Knight of Cups here, please? King of Cups. Okay, so that's Scorpio. How about... The Ten of Wands. Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius. And how about this Ace of Cups here, please? Empress. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So, clarifying this Knight of Cups is the King of Cups. I almost feel like whoever you're having relationship obstacles with, you're in two different energies, okay? One of you is ready okay one of you is ready capable more than willing to put effort into something here all right scorpio energy here with this king of cups the other of you on the other hand very hesitant okay 
he doesn't really want to step in that water there. Um, I feel like there's somebody here who's not really comfortable with their with their emotions, with their feelings, okay? So that could have something to do with it. I feel like they're very guarded and protective, okay? With all this armor on here, I feel like they're very protective of their emotions. So they don't really want to step into them or feel them in any way, shape, or form. So clarifying the Ten of Wands, we have the Five of Swords. So I almost feel like there's a lot of push here, okay? Um, which makes it really hard, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you're experiencing a lot of resistance when it comes to trying to make something happen here in a connection. And honestly, when this when this card shows up, it can mean that you're having trouble like letting go of something when you should be letting go of the trouble in a situation. Um, because I feel like you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing, and you're not getting anywhere with this because they're holding themselves back, okay? And then you have the Five of Swords clarifying that. So it's only putting you in a place of like mental confliction here, okay? It's putting you in this kind of energy. So, clarifying the Ace of Cups, though, is the Empress. I feel like there is room for growth somewhere, even if it's not here, okay? We have Taurus and Libra here with this um, Empress showing up. Very fertile energy, so keep that in mind, you guys, especially with that Ace of Wands being here as well. What's going on here down here with the uh, Queen of Wands? So, the future energy, we have the Queen of Wands, uh, Cardinal Fire, so this is Aries. We have the Three of Cups, um, Mercury and Cancer, and then we have the Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio. Okay, so what's going on here with the, okay, uh, Queen of Wands, we're getting the Death card, Scorpio. How about this Three of Cups? What's going on here in the future for Virgo with this Three of Cups, please? Nine of Wands, uh, Moon and Sagittarius, and the Six of Cups, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, clarifying the overall, we're getting the Page of Pentacles, okay? So some of you could be getting a message here from an earth sign with this page of pentacles showing up. If that's not it, then um, your perspective is, you're, you're changing your perspective on something here. Because to me, the page of pentacles can also be enlightenment, okay? A new journey um, of stability. Clarifying this queen of wands is the death card. So I honestly feel like there is some kind of ending that's taking place here for a lot of you guys um, with this showing up. Because the queen of wands is somebody who is bold, fearless, assertive. Um, she's somebody who has a lot of backbone and strength, okay? I feel like some of you guys might have a lot of Leo in your chart, but overall, I feel like you are ending something here, okay? Um, clarifying this Three of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands. This is a card of persistence. Um, it's wounded warrior energy. So somebody who has been hurt, but they keep going also feels that for some of you guys, there's potential to move backwards here as well because that 10 of wands, you move from the 10 and the current energy to the nine. So I think that for some of you guys, this death card could represent somebody coming forward here, okay? Wanting some kind of rebirth when it comes to this situation because the three of cups can represent a reunion and the nine of wands can represent persistence, wounded warrior, okay? So definitely one or both of you have been hurt in this connection here. Um, you do have the Six of Cups as well. Clarifying the Six of Cups is the Lovers. Six of Cups is a card of the past, okay? But it's also, it's it's Sun and Scorpio energy. It's burning away the past to bring about brighter days. So for some of you guys, you know, I feel as if, yes, this is a death to the past. You could be moving into a new connection here, specifically with a Gemini for some of you guys. But for others of you, I feel like this could be a reconciliation, a reunion of some sort. But I feel like there's a lot to work through here, okay? I'm not sure what happened here, but... I feel like things are moving very slowly for you in a connection and say so you moved in a different direction here. Uh, you went cold to this and I feel as if for some of you guys this could be coming back around. For others of you this is this is growth in another area. But overall I feel as if there is new life being breathed into um, the love sector is what I feel like saying here for you guys. So that's what I'm seeing here um, for you Virgo. I hope that it was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and for allowing us to help guide you on this journey. You all enjoy your week. Bye.